Lane again. Today we will be talking about pre-calculus. In this field we will be covering unit vectors. So if you're not familiar with the idea, a vector is basically just an arrow pointing to a point on the coordinate plane. So here's my coordinate plane. One, two, one, two. So if I say I want the vector 1 comma 1. You the first step is you make a point at 1 comma 1, then you draw an arrow just like this pointing to it. Now this is a vector. We could call this vector A, vector B, but when you're symbolizing a vector, you basically just have to put like this little arrow thing on top. So if I say I want the vector, but so if I say I want the vector two comma one, you make a point at two comma one, and then you draw an arrow to it. If I say I want the point one com, the vector one comma two draw a point to it and then draw an arrow to it. So a unit vector is essentially just a vector that has a magnitude of one. So that basically means if we use the equation the magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. If we use this, this is going to be equal to 1 for a unit vector. So, in the direction of this vector, the, this is how we're going to solve it. So, we're going to say vector v with this little u, u under its subscript, and then is equal to, now here comes the big part. We have a fraction, and under this fraction, we're going to have a square root. And then comma, and then same thing over here. We're going to have a square root and fraction, and then we close the parentheses. So the way we're going to solve it is first, we're going to look at its magnitude. So its magnitude is going to be, so the magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus minus 8 squared. Now, in case you're not familiar with this, I'll give you something. If you square a number, let's say if I square the number two, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be the base number or this number right here. And then this is how, and then this is how many of it you're gonna have, in this case two, and that's how many you're gonna multiply. So, so in this case, we have two times two which is, I think you can already guess it by now, four. And then, this might seem a little tricky to you unless you haven't recently learned negative numbers and, how, and multiplying them, but if you multiply a negative number, it's the negatives essentially cancel each other out, so you're left with a positive number. So in this case, we're left with eight times eight. And 8 times 8 is 64. So in this case, we have 4 plus 64. And 4 plus 64 is equal to 68. So we're going to put that under our square root symbol here. So we're going to have square root and then put our number 68. Now we know what the denominator, de, the denominator is going to be. It's going to be square root 68. So now, if 
if we're going to solve for our numerator, or the top part of this fraction, what we need to do is we basically just take, for example, this number, and then we stick it onto the numerator of its corresponding, of its corresponding place. So if I have a 2 here, we're just going to stick it up here. A negative 8 here, stick it up here. And there we go. This is our answer. The unit vector in the direction of vector v is equal to 2 comma negative 8 is equal to 2 over the square root of 68 comma minus 8 over the square root of 68. Now we can check our answer. So we're going to have the square root of 2 over the square root of 68 and then take that, square it, and plus minus 8 over square root 68 and then we square that. So basically, if you square a square root, it's basically just going to cancel. So we're basically just left with 68 in the denominator. So this is good. Now we can add like fractions. And so just like before, 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2. And what is 2 times 2? 4. So we're going to put 4 up here. And minus 8 times minus 8, well, I already gave you a lesson. If, a ne if you square a negative number, it's just the positive version. So 8 times 8, what is that? 64. So we're going to have 64. And then 4 plus 64 is 68. So we essentially have the square root of 68 over 68. So 68 over 68. And this is also equal to the square root of 1. Now, you may not know this or believe this, but the square root of 1 equals 1. So there we have it. Does it match our def definition of a unit vector? Yes, it does. So this is the correct answer. This is the second problem, so we're still covering the unit vector section. Number two, find the unit vector in the direction of vector v is equal to 6 comma 6. So now we know how to solve for this. It's essentially equal to, I have this big thing, and then so if vector v is defined as a comma b, then this is going to be equal to the magnitude of vector v on the bottom and a on the top comma the magnitude of vector v at the bottom and v at the top. So now that we know, how to solve for it, let's, let's plug it in. So we already know that this right here is going to be a 6, and this right here is going to be a 6. We've already covered that. Now, we erase this and replace it with a square root symbol. And we do that, and then we do the same for here replace it with a square root symbol. Now we're not done just yet. We're just putting in the basic. We're putting in the frame. Now let's solve for the magnitude. So if we have the magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared. Now this should be easy. 6 squared is 6 times 6. And then so is this. 6 times 6. 
And then these are both, if you know your multiplication table and you have six times six memorized, 36 plus 36, or 36 times two. Now 36 plus 36, we add them up. This is for you guys that are still doing basic addition. Six plus six is 12. One plus three is four. Four plus one is, wait, no wait. One plus three is four. Four plus three is seven. So we get our answer. It's the square root of 72. So we can say the magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of 72. Now we solve for the denominator. We can plug in our answer. 72 here, 72 there. Now let's see if this actually applies. So here we have our equation. And so we have six over square root 72, and then take that and square it down the face, plus six over square root 70, no, not 27, sorry, I messed up. 72 squared, and then take this, retract it back, and then we get the square root of, now we're just going to distribute it, 6 squared equals 6 times 6, which you should know by now, is equal to 36. So, and then these two cancel each other out, so we're left with 36 over 72 plus 36 over 72. Retract it back, and then we get 36 plus 36 is 72. So now we just have the square root of 72 over 72, which is equal to the square root of 1, which is equal to our grand old 1. So now we know our answer. The unit vector in the direction of vector v is equal to 6 over the square root of 72, comma, 6 over the square root of 72. Kids, if you have any comments, be sure to leave them down in the description below. I will be answering them when the video comes out. Have a good day and peace out.